For the second straight year, Plano and Trinity getting together for another playoff classic. Early on, it's all Trojans as Tevin Williams caps a classic Trinity ball control drive by going up and over from a yard out, and that gives Trinity a 7-0 lead. Later, the Trinity offensive line opens a huge hole for Williams, and he goes in from 15 yards out to up the lead to 14-0. But Plano would cut that lead in half, though, as they get the ball to Rex Burkhead. He finally gets on track here with this 50-yard run. That would set up a short touchdown run. It's 14-7. But Trinity would respond on the ensuing kickoff with Bobby Brown. It's his prerogative. He takes this one back 90 yards to the house. A huge play, punch and counterpunch. Trinity extends their lead 21-7 but Plano comes right back. Meager running the zone read and he gets in from four yards out to cut the lead to 21-14. After another Trinity score, Plano would again respond. Here, Carson Meager hooks up with Rex Burkhead over the middle. He gets in from 13 yards out and the Wildcats are now carrying the momentum. It's 28-21 Trinity. In the second half, Plano would tie the game at 28 on Burkhead's five yard touchdown plunge. He finished the night with 142 yards rushing and three touchdowns. But Trinity would answer right back through the air this time as Daenerys McGee finds Tyree Tucker behind the Plano secondary from 36 yards out, Trinity now back in front. But Plano doesn't quit. Carson Meager looking for someone. He finds Holt Hetcher with a strike down to the Trojan one-yard line. That would set up another one-yard touchdown plunge, and we're tied at 35 with just three minutes to play. But Trinity shows some championship medal, with McGee finishing the drive with a beautiful pass to Tucker, looked just like the previous one. And with 15 seconds left, Trinity takes a 42-35 lead. Time for Plano to try one last heave as the clock winds down, but Trinity's Christo Lasica drops Carson Meager for a loss as time expires, and Trinity holds on for a 42-35 win and advances to the regional semifinals to take on the Arlington Colts. You know, it was, it was a fun opportunity. You know, Plano's got a great program and great players, and, you know, we just had to come at it, and, you know, whoever won the more came out on top. So, you know, heads, down, heads off to Plano. They played a real great game. Plano, I don't think they had a close game all year, so we knew we could execute down in the first time, so that really good for advantage. They expected to run since we were running school, but coach just trusted me and I went up and made plays for them.